a wild Stratelli appears. Welcome back to The Mix. I'm ABD. Today we're reviewing a guitar that I did not order, but I received it anyways. I actually received it on accident from Guitar Center. They sent me the wrong guitar. I ordered the Squire Strat Osonic, which is more like a Les Paul special kind of thing with P90s in TV yellow. And I ended up getting that guitar, and I did an unboxing for it that you can find here. And um, I will be doing the second part of that. But for now, I'm reviewing this guitar, even though I wasn't planning on doing it. They um, also have another finish that is gold. I think Aztec gold, which is one of Fender's finishes. But this one is two-tone chocolate burst. And uh, it's very brown. And it is pretty. It is a shame that um, this is not the one that I would have ordered. It's not the one that I did order. But I am happy that I got it and got to review it. It has binding on the front and back, cream binding. It has a finish on the back of the neck. It is not satin. It has a poplar body, so in line with the alder bodies that you usually see on fenders. And then you have three pickups on this. It is a Stratocaster body, shaped body, with a Telecaster shaped pickguard. So it does have three pickups like a Strat. But the neck and bridge pickups are like a Telecaster, and the middle pickup is a single coil like you would find on a Strat. It is a string through body and bridge. It's the ashtray style bridge with the three saddles down here, which are not brass, but they're just, you know, like a normal simple metal. They do have grooves, two grooves on each one for the strings, which you don't always find on a Tele bridge. And you have um, a volume and a tone. The tone is a push pull pot. And what that does is it adds the neck pickup into positions one and two. So you get some more tonal possibilities and more pickup combinations. And uh, the pots feel good. This one definitely feels more loose. When I did the unboxing, I thought one of the pots was like maybe bad or weird. And I didn't realize that one was a push-pull pot. I don't know why I wouldn't try to pull it, but that's what it does. You have your barrel type knobs on there, which feel kind of cheap and light. The switch feels kind of cheap, but uh, that's what you expect on these guitars. They are $420, $430 for these guitars. So they're not that cheap, but they are very affordable compared to like a Fender. And then on the neck here, you have a laurel fretboard with dot inlays, and it feels pretty good. Vintage tiny frets that do also feel pretty good. And um, acoustically, it sounds good. There's a little bit of ringing on the low E and some of the strings. The setup from the factory was pretty good. The intonation was pretty good, not perfect. I haven't really adjusted it too much because I am returning it because it wasn't the guitar that I ordered and I did get the guitar that I ordered. Um, the plastic is still on the pickguard, so if you see any like scratches or anything, that'll just come off with the plastic. I didn't take that off yet. And then you have the ferrules here on the back where the strings go through. You have a neck plate that says Squire. It's not on a like plastic ring or anything like that. It's just metal to wood. And um, one of the big negatives is the tuning machines are very cheap. Um, they're made cheaply where they have that kind of ridge on the side. You can kind of see the two pieces, how they were put together. They feel really light and really loose, and they don't stay in tune that well. There's a finish on the headstock that looks good. And uh, the pickups themselves, they're actually pretty good sounding pickups. They're not too muddy. They're voiced pretty well, and they articulate pretty well. And so we can plug it in to a tube amp first, and then a simulated amp after that to get some tones and uh, then we can give it a score and we can wrap it up. So thank you for watching, and if you're enjoying this, please like or subscribe, I really would appreciate that. So we have a Hughes and Kettner Tube Meister 20 tube amp, and we have that going into a Mesa Boogie cabinet with a V30 speaker and some pedals on the floor. And so with no pedals, just a little bit of reverb, here's what you get. So that's on the bridge. If we go to the neck position, And then middle position. So it's really the bridge position pickup that's the star of the show. It sounds great. We go back to the neck. And in the middle position again. So like I said, there's a little bit of buzz on the uh, fretboard. It could probably maybe be leveled 
or you could probably bring the action up. The action is not too high, it's pretty standard, and it feels good. And the overall construction of the guitar is good, so it rings out and sounds good. <laughs> So we can try that with a Tube Screamer and see how that sounds. Then we can try a uh, Rat type distortion. We're on that middle pickup, so that Strat pickup still. So it definitely gets a little muddy there if we go back to the bridge. Cool, now for something even heavier we have a Behringer Ultra Metal Distortion. That was all on the bridge if you go back to the neck. So that neck pickup is definitely like we talked about, lower output and definitely muddier. The neck pickup on a telly is usually kind of muddy and bassy, um, but this one here is not particularly great. But the bridge position sounds great and the middle position is pretty good too. If we go back to the middle. Cool. Well, that was some um, your kind of distortion pedals. Let's try a compressor. Alright, so we've gone through the specs of the guitar, we've gone through the kind of quality and assurance. It does feel very good to play, nice and clean. The fretboard is good with a little bit of buzz. Um, we did a demo. We heard it through a tube amp and a little jam through a virtual amp with uh, neural DSP plugins. And uh, so now I can give it a rating. Overall, out of 10, even though I didn't order this guitar, I would probably give it an 8. I think it's a great guitar, and it is what it says it is, a Nashville Strat and it feels like a Nashville kind of rock machine. And so I'm really happy with it, even though it's not really my type of guitar, and I didn't order it, and it's not going to stay in my collection. I'm happy that I got to play it and enjoy it for the time that I've had it. And uh, are you going to run out and get one of these? Do you already have one? Do you like it? Um, do you have the gold one? Because I, I kind of wish they sent me the gold one on accident instead of the chocolate one on accident, because the gold one. Is definitely cooler but one more thing we could do before wrapping it up is we can compare it to a Fender Strat we have a Fender player neck on this and so we can uh, just play a similar thing and see how they sound in comparison this is a laurel fingerboard and this one is a maple fingerboard so let's do it <laughs>
so that's it. We'll wrap it up here. Thank you for watching. And until next time, play strats and play tellies. Play strat tellies. Bye now. <laughs>